In this video, we're going to show you how you can create your own transparent textures for use inside of Half-Life using Photoshop. We're going to create a giant H that we can place in the middle of our helipad. That's right. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a new document. It's, um, your document needs to be uh, to a power of 2. Mm -hmm. Ours is going to be 512 by 512 since, since it's going to be a pretty big texture. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit the OK button. And first off, we're going to make the gigantic H. Now we want a white H since um, the helipad H is usually our white and our background will be uh, black in the in the map mm -hmm. um, so we'll go ahead and use the let's find our layers window layers we're gonna go ahead and take the background and simply make it black uh, there. So there you go go ahead and put the H into the middle of it all mm -hmm. And then we're going to go ahead to our, and go to our channels. What we want to do is create a new channel, a alpha channel. Um, and the alpha channel it will basically do so that in Half-Life, the, the texture that is white will be shown and the texture that's black will be transparent. Sure. So go ahead and drag it to a new layer and rename it to alpha. Alpha. There you go. We're going to save this as a Targa, or TGA, so save as, save it to the desktop, uh, and we'll name this Helipad. Okay. Helipad H. You want to make sure that's a Targa. I'm going to go ahead and make it a Targa, and just save it to desktop. It needs to be 32 bits, um, and we'll just leave it uncompressed. Save, go ahead and bring down Photoshop, and you'll need to go into your... Um, Half-Life folder. I'm um, just going to go ahead and back up here. Go into your Steam Apps folder under your username, source SDK underscore content, Half-Life 2, material source, and you can either place your texture here or you can create your own custom map, which you're going to do right now. Just name it custom. You can name it whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And you'll need to take your TGA file and put it in here. Okay. Now, to transform the TGA file into something a uh, hammer can recognize, we'll need to drag this file into vtext.exe, which is a program that will transform it into a file that hammer can read. So just drop and drag it onto vtext in this, under your username, source SDK bin folder. Mm -hmm. And. Ooh, cool. Oh, wait. But before you do that, you will have. <laughs> Before you do that, okay. you'll have to go into your your original material source fo folder. So under your username, Half-Life 2 HL2 Materials, mm -hmm. you'll need to create a map with the same name. So custom again. And then you can go ahead and drag the... And it doesn't matter that you're doing this twice in a row? No. Okay. There you go. So now we have a VTF file inside of our original Half-Life 2 HL materials custom nice. file. Now what we want to do is create a new file. Um gonna name this helipadh.vmt. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we want to change it. And we're gonna go ahead and open this in Notepad. You'll notice that uh, where the first folder we had, there's been created a text file. Mm -hmm. Before you run the image file through the vtext.exe, you can customize this text file to add different par parameters to your image, but we won't need that right now. And if we don't specify any special text file, it's just generating one on its own. Okay. So, over to a VMT file. A VMT file is to control the textures in Hammer, and we're going to start off by writing a little light light mapped generic so the this texture is going to act like a normal texture and get It'll no receive light maps just get like normal lightning gotcha uh, you could also set it to unlit generic which would lit constantly like a computer screen or something mm -hmm. like that we're going to go ahead and put in um, base texture and since we are having it in a custom folder we're going to Say custom. We're gonna specify the path to where the texture is. So custom slash helipad dot h. Oh, helipad h. Um, 
we're also going to go ahead and say that it's a decal so decal and if it's the value of the parameter is the parameter is a number value mm -hmm. you don't need to encapsulate or quote it you also go ahead and put in trans uh, translucent um, to tell the tell the texture that it needs to be transparent and use the alpha channel okay. set this to one and go and go ahead and save this uh, yeah so now what we want to do is go ahead and load up a uh, hammer and just go ahead and open our map there it is uh, now, if they already had hammer going, do they need to reload it? Yeah, they would probably need to reload the, okay. the texture. Now go to browse and type in heli pad, and there you'll notice is. there's a T, so it's transparent. Load up the helipad texture, and we're gonna make a overlay. Notice that in the context on the text file, I said decal to one, which mm -hmm. means we can use it as a decal. Cool. So just. Uh, go ahead and place it and edit the vertices so let's see from the top view going ahead and editing it so da -da 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 and just drag it all the way to the corner da -da -da -da. It's like a big H to me. Big old H. Um, so that basically concludes what we wanted to talk about in this video. Okay, can we test it out? Oh, yeah, let's can do Can we that. see it? Let's test it out. I want to see. More loading times. <laughs> That's how it goes. Dum 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 loading. That's awesome. Yeah. Loading, Learn how to make your own loading. texture. That's right. You can spray paint your own stuff on the walls now. Yeah. You can put like three D buzz rocks oh. all over yeah, the entire let's do that. counter strike level. So let's go ahead and go outside. Take Get pick up gun. the gun. Go ahead Climb and the ladder. visit the bad guys. And, Oof, look and we that. got a big old H, but we still have the selected texture under it. So that's awesome. Exactly what we wanted. Let's go ahead and exit Half-Life. Very cool. So that's going to uh, wrap it up for this video over making your own custom transparent textures. Thanks a lot.